All right. Hello, folks. Thank you. And this is your host, Jay Arthur. And today we have a wonderful guest. His name is Dr. Phil Carson. Welcome, Dr. Phil Carson. Oh, thank you so much, Jay. I'm excited to be on your show today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. And uh, let me give you, let me share a little bit about Dr. Phil and then we'll go to our normal flow. So Dr. Phil is a practicing pharmacist since 1985, and his mission is to help patients with the best natural solutions. And I'm sure I can tell you ahead of time to all our listeners, you're gonna love some of what he's gonna talk about. And Dr. Phil is a popular speaker on this topic. So I, I'm sure we'll figure it out because it sounds like he's extremely passionate about natural uh, solutions. And he has also written a book, uh, I think on the similar kind of a topic. And we'll talk about that book later on during our podcast. Is there anything else you would like to add, Dr. Phil? Oh, no, you, uh, you pretty much covered it there, Jay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. But first of all, thanks for taking time to be part of this podcast, your message I know is going to immediately connect with our audience. And there's one common thing we always do with every single podcast. Whenever we have a guest, we want to know more about the guest. We want to uh, know about where do you live, you know, your normal routine, what you're passionate about, of course, other than this topic and anything else you feel like sharing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, I live in the deep south, as you can probably tell from uh, from my accent. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a Mississippi Southern boy, uh, born and raised here. I uh, was born in, in a little town called Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, I share that birthplace with the world's most famous person that's ever lived during our lifetime. Uh, and uh, you know, most people when I say that, they're looking at me like, "Well, who, who, who in the world could that be? Who is from Tupelo, Mississippi? That, that is so that is so famous." And uh, when I say uh, the name, uh, they light up and, "Oh yeah, 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 I know him. I know who he's talking about now." Didn't realize he was from Tupelo. Uh, there's a there was a young man born in Tupelo, Mississippi, back in the 1940s. Uh, his name uh, was Elvis Presley. Oh gosh! And uh, you are so, famous like him then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, Elvis and I share the same birthplace, uh, and I've oh, lived around him. Tupelo all my life. Uh, uh, he moved away when he was a teenager to Memphis, Tennessee, but uh, that's why a lot of people think he's actually from Memphis. But uh, he he grew up in Tupelo. But, Do you guys uh, have any museum over there for? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have people that visit Tupelo from all over the world uh, every day just to come and see the little shack that he was born in. God. And uh, there's been a museum that's built uh, behind the little shack, uh, but uh, it's a little, uh, I think, two or three room shack that he was born in. Uh, and uh, very humble beginnings for, for this young, uh, young man. And uh, unfortunately, he's not. Uh, uh, still with us, con uh, contrary to what some people believe, uh, they think you're still alive out there some <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but uh, uh, but anyway, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it, it was a humble beginning for him, but um, uh, he made it big. For uh, I wish he was still around. Uh, he was a very talented young man. Absolutely. But <clears throat> but, uh, uh, but anyway, it was um, uh, it was his unhealthy lifestyle. Uh, ironically, that uh, is the reason he's not here. Right. I think if he had been living the healthy lifestyle that uh, that I strive to live the other day, and that I teach people uh, to live every day, uh, he would uh, possibly still be here with us. But um, <clears throat> unfortunately, he didn't make those uh, right choices. I couldn't agree more on that with you. And I think that's the problem with many of these celebrities. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure you can easily connect with that. So a question on that, like we meet so many practicing pharmacists and they never do anything like what you're doing over here. Yeah. What's the reason of you picking up this whole message and, you know, you want to share this message with the whole world. What's the reason behind it? 
Yeah, well, the, the main reason behind it is because of the amazing things I have seen happen uh, with natural therapies and natural products. Uh, uh, Jay, I tell everybody, when I went through pharmacy school back in the uh, 1970s and 80s, I was taught the history of natural medicine, not the application of it. And so when I got out of pharmacy school, I knew basically nothing about how to uh, apply natural products or natural therapies to my practice. And people would come into the pharmacy asking me questions about herbal things or vitamins and things. And I didn't, I didn't know what to tell them. And also, um, uh, you know, at that same time, I was suffering myself from some major health issues. Uh, I had severe gastritis and, and gastric issues and digestive issues from massive amount of stress in my life. Uh, and, uh, you know, the stress of uh, pharmacy school, uh, stress of grow, uh, uh, things that happened in my life growing up, uh, uh, the job situation I was thrown into a year out of pharmacy school, uh, becoming a manager of a big uh, uh, pharmacy chain store. Uh, it was, uh, the stress was killing me and it was causing severe gastric problems. So I was taking all this medication, trying to get relief and I could get some relief, but very temporary relief. Uh, at one point I was drinking two bottles of liquid antacid a day just to try to, Oh my God. To, to try to stay comfortable. And, um, so, and then taking prescription medications on top of that. But, um, so I set out to find something that would help me. And I picked up a book one day on natural, uh, recommendations and natural products, started reading and found the answer to my problem. Uh, in this book, the underlying, found out what the underlying cause other than the stress, uh, of course, the stress was causing a lot of it. And I was able to do something about that as well by getting out of that job situation I was in. But um, finding out why I had such severe gastros, uh, gastritis and, and gastric issues changed my life. And I started using these natural products and natural supplements uh, and also uh, learn how to eat. I, you know, uh, was a terrible eater, uh, mm -hmm. uh, had terrible dietary habits, uh, and, you know, being in a high pressure pharmacy operation, I didn't have much choice. Uh, I ate most days standing up, uh, running back and forth from one place to the other in the pharmacy. I'd grab a bite whenever I ran by the food I had laying on the counter. Uh, so that was kind of lifestyle I was living, uh, and, uh, eating uh, very unhealthy foods. Uh, so changing my diet was another big thing that, uh, uh, that saved me as well and, and uh, uh, cured what I call cure the, uh, the underlying problem that I had. <clears throat> so Got it. Uh, I started sharing you know, my success, uh, my own personal health success with other people, and I also wanted to learn more. So I started taking courses in natural medicine. Mm. And uh, I traveled uh, on weekends and I would go and take these weekend long courses and certification courses and all kinds of natural therapies, learning everything I could. Uh, I've always had a thirst for knowledge anyway. And, and uh, I love to learn and learn new things and, and uh, I love to investigate things and figure things out. So this is what I was doing and I was loving it and I was sharing it with my patients and, and they were experiencing life change and, and, uh, uh, it just kind of evolved from there, uh, and over a period of time, I have basically shifted away from traditional pharmacy. As a matter of fact, today, uh, I am working in a, a medical clinic that I partly own. I co-founded with a medical doctor friend of mine that we call the Life Transformation Medical Center. And Congratulations. Have, you know, that's really a good, good story at the end, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's been a it's been a life journey, but uh, I'm excited to be here and doing what I'm doing. Yeah, and that leads to something really. I mean, like you know, it's I would say uh, extremely interesting here because we had many people writing to us talking about digestive health, gut health, and all that. But not everybody knows about that. And who could be the better person to talk about? other than you. So why not, if you can share from layman's perspective, when somebody says, hey, my, I have a problem with my gut health, what does yeah. really it means? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, in my case, and in the case of a lot of other people that I have counseled with and coached and, uh, and helped over the years with digestive issues, uh, what I was dealing with uh, was improper digestion, slow digestion, uh, and uh, it was causing severe reflux uh, and indigestion and heartburn. Uh, and, you know, most people that have those issues, they go to the doctor, they get prescribed a medication, they take the medication, they get some relief, but it's not correcting the underlying problem. And uh, so one of the things that I've learned and discovered in uh, my studies is that digestive enzymes was something that I needed. Uh, I was not eating enough of enzyme rich foods to start with. Now I've changed that since, so I don't have to take digestive enzymes uh, unless I eat something that, you know, is really hard to digest. But um, the other thing uh, was I have discovered I had a condition called hypochlorhydria, which uh, in layman's term, that's low stomach acid. So my, I, my stomach was not producing enough stomach acid to properly digest my foods, uh, therefore contributing to the heartburn, the indigestion, the gastritis, and all those symptoms I was uh, dealing with. So the combination of those two things changed my life. And then I also discovered that uh, I, needed, uh, I needed probiotics. I needed the good bacteria. All the medications I had taken for years had uh, pretty much destroyed all the good bacteria in my uh, in my gut and uh, I needed to replace them so I started uh, taking probiotics uh, started eating more fermented foods uh, as well uh, and boy that made a tremendous difference uh, also uh, so those are three things that I personally did and three things that I have shared with a lot of people over the years that it's uh, that's made a big difference in in their life and their digestive issues that they've suffered from but right. A lot of people uh, are taking antacids or taking acid blocking drugs, mm -hmm. thinking that they have too much acid when in fact they have too little acid. And, mm -hmm. that, and that was my case. And how do you know, how, I mean, how can you differentiate whether it's hyper or hypo? Well, uh, there, there are uh, uh, medical tests that can be done, mm -hmm. uh, but there's also, uh, the way I discovered it, uh, was a little home remedy. I mean, a little home test that this doctor uh, uh, that wrote about in this book that I had picked up uh, that I told you about. Uh, he suggested if you're having these kind of symptoms, try this. He said, drink a couple of tablespoons of pure lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. And if you get some relief, it's most likely that you are not producing enough stomach acid because that acid uh, in, the, in the lemon juice or the apple cider vinegar is gonna help break your food and digest your food better and you're gonna give you some relief of your symptoms. Is it before taking the food or after the food? Uh, this would be uh, either, uh, either way, it works either way. Uh, in my case, it was, I took it after. Mm -hmm. And probably for most people, they probably, uh, if they're gonna try that, they probably should take it uh, after or uh, during uh, the meal. Right. <laughs> but, um, uh, if a person has stomach ulcers or any type of digestive ulcers, now that could be a problem. They could cause some, you know, some major burning and pain there probably. Uh, but uh, uh, fortunately for me, I wasn't to that point yet, but I was headed that way. I was headed toward having major ulcers. Uh, but uh, it made a tremendous difference. It, uh, you know, I could really tell the difference when I did that. And so uh, with that knowledge, I started taking um, an acid supplement because you can get the digestive acids in a capsule or tablet form. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't have to drink apple cider vinegar all the time or drink lemon juice all the time. But, uh, you know, either way, it works. Mm -hmm. And it worked for me and it's worked for a lot of others that I've uh, counseled over the years. Right. So, uh, so I think that leads to, I mean, first of all, thanks for sharing that. That's, that's pretty uh, good home remedy or, or, or finding out whether you have low acid or, or high acid. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than the apple cider vinegar and uh, basically the lime juice, when it comes to foods, uh, the, I should say veggies or fruits, is there anything specific you would like to suggest for those people who are suffering with the gut health or digestive issues? Uh, absolutely. Um, 
more raw foods um, because uh, the raw foods, especially green foods, uh, like your leafy green vegetables, uh, things like uh, the broccoli, the asparagus, uh, all of your uh, raw type vegetables like that, the green colorful, colorful vegetables uh, contain enzymes that are needed uh, for breaking our foods down and helping us digest, especially protein uh, and, uh, and also um, uh, dairy products. Uh, these kind of things are needed, um, and they make a, a, a big difference, these enzymes do, in helping with, it, uh, with the overall digestive process. Right. Now, you were earlier talking about taking some kind of, let's say, uh, herbs or B, you know, vitamins or supplements or those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, kind of a specific uh, recommendation for those people who are just starting out and don't know really anything about, and they want to start taking some kind of, you know, positive steps in their life and start taking something, what would be your recommendation? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd be happy to share that with you. And there's something that, uh, that I wrote about in, in my book uh, is, is the basics of, of where a person can start uh, with, uh, with nutrients and, and supplementing their diet. Uh, and most people do need to supp supplement their diet, Jay, because most people don't eat the kind of foods that they should be eating on a regular basis. Uh, we eat too many processed foods, too much junk food. So uh, the place to start is with a good multivitamin. And the multivitamins, uh, the types of multivitamins that I recommend are food source multis, ones that are made primarily from food, because uh, most of what people take, unfortunately, are not real vitamins. Uh, they're, they're what I call synthetic vitamins. Uh, they're not food. Uh, they're made from chemicals. And, um, and they really do more harm to the body than they do good. So uh, there's a huge difference in nutritional supplements on the market. And uh, there's also uh, you know, a huge difference in the price a lot of times. Uh, there's also a huge difference in the quality uh, of them uh, as well. And I tell people, you know, you may pay a little bit more for a good food source uh, multivitamin, but you're actually going to get something that's going to help you and not something that's going to harm you. Tell people, don't waste your money on uh, something that's not real. It's not a real food source multivitamin mineral. Uh, you're just um, throwing your money away uh, when you take one of those. Uh, but most people don't know that. They don't know the difference. And that's one of the things that I, uh, that I write about in my book. One of the things that I teach uh, in, uh, uh, in the work that I do and in, when I speak in, in different places is one of the things I like to talk about and enlighten people to the fact that there is a big difference uh, in, the, in the various types of nutrients out there. Uh, another thing, too, that I highly recommend people as far as a starting place uh, is uh, fish oil. Uh, the fish oil supplements uh, are wonderful and they have, and uh, most people don't, unless you live in a coastal region where you've got plentiful good ocean fish, most people don't eat enough of uh, uh, fish and don't get enough of what we call the essential fats, the essential fatty acids that are uh, found in fish. Fish are very rich, uh, these ocean fish, these cold water fish are very rich in these essential fats. And so uh, they are... Uh, they're called essential for a reason because our bodies need them for all kinds of functions. Our brains need them to stay healthy. Our nervous system needs them. Our joints need them to stay lubricated. So they do a lot of wonderful, uh, or they provide a lot of wonderful uh, uh, work in our body as far as keeping us healthy. And the other uh, thing, as far as a starting point uh, or what I recommend for everybody is what I mentioned a minute ago that really helped me tremendously with digestive problems. And that's probiotics, the good bacteria. Mm -hmm. uh, a good probiotic supplement, uh, and there's a big difference in those out there as well. And uh, you know the the ones that I take myself and recommend for most people are what I call broad spectrum probiotics, mm -hmm. ones that contain a multiple variety of of good bacteria and not just one or two. Right, not specific to any just one health issue, but more broader, you know, category. Yeah, you have a variety of probiotics. That's right. Yeah. 
Got it. Yeah, no, I think that's that's extremely good advice. And then if I can paraphrase for the benefit of everybody, because that's our constant message. If you eat natural foods, you know, follow the same philosophical approach and, you know, take, as you said, plant-based. I, I We just say all natural, herbal, you know, vitamins, nutrients, uh, you know, then many of those problems associated with taking the processed foods or junk food, we sometimes call it. Mm -hmm. I know we upset many people when we say junk food. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you could avoid many of these problems. And I, thanks for adding that about the digestive, like enzymes and, you know, the fish oil supplements and all that. You know, I think that's really, I'm sure our listeners would love that message. So yeah. talking about something a little bit related, but you know, I had somebody, uh, I would say, I think last month or so, uh, writing about that, hey, you know, I had a real challenging, I'm just trying to be humble over here when I'm using the word challenging, challenging lifestyle. That's the word I'm using, but their wordings were totally different. Mm -hmm. uh, and sounds like they screwed up uh, their digestive health really bad. And their question was, how do I cleanse my gut? How do I nourish my gut gut now so that I, you know, I can be back on track and I can, because the person wanted to start a healthy lifestyle now. Yeah. 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 Well, there's, uh, uh, fortunately, there's a lot of good ways uh, to do that. A lot of good products out there uh, that can help people do that. Uh, and there are what I call uh, purification diets. Uh, and there, there are several different ones, several different uh, companies that provide, uh, the nutrients and, and things that you need for a purification diet. Matter of fact, I just did a 21 day purification diet myself. Uh, and I uh, uh, typically, you know, once a year I'll do some type of cleanse uh, where I do a, a gut cleanse, liver cleanse, and uh, try to, to detox my body. And uh, this is something that I just recently did. Uh, and uh, I used a company called Standard Process. Standard Process is a nutritional company that's been around since 1929, uh, producing uh, a lot of organic and food source nutrients. Uh, but they have a purification program that I love to use. Uh, but there's some others out there, too, that have some 10-day programs, uh, from 14-day programs. Uh, it just depends on uh, how... Uh, you know, out of balance a person is and uh, with their uh, toxic levels and those kind of things. And, and, you know, we're exposed to toxins on a regular basis uh, in the environment, the foods that we eat, uh, all kinds of different ways we'll get them bombarded with all these toxins. So it's a really good idea for a person to do a cleanse every so often and to help improve the digestive process, help improve the function of the liver uh, and, and, in clearing toxins from the body. So I highly recommend it uh, for people. Uh, it's something that, um, you know, depending on a person's health and how, you know, what kind of shape they're in, how toxic they may be, it's not something that you want to take lightly. Uh, and you may need some assistance, some medical assistance in doing that. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty safe for most people to be able to do a cleanse uh, like that. But, um, uh, I would uh, recommend looking at Sander Process, looking at some of the other companies out there. Garden of Life is another company that produces some good stuff. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, when you're cleansing or, uh, or after, during a cleanse, after a cleanse, you need to replenish as well. Replenish with the, the good bacteria primarily, putting the good stuff back into your system, keeping those probiotics going uh, uh, in the gut because they're extremely important, extremely vital and health uh, for a healthy life. Uh, so, and the fish oil that I mentioned uh, can help with inflammation in the gut uh, as you're uh, cleansing and detoxing or after a cleanse and detox. Uh, if there's any kind of inflammatory condition going on there, uh, that can help. Also, uh, turmeric. Turmeric uh, is, a, is a spice that a lot of people are familiar with, has great anti-inflammatory properties, can help with gut health tremendously. That's, thanks for sharing that. That's really a good advice over here. Now, I'm really looking forward to learn a bit more about your book. Uh, so just so you know, I checked it out as you were talking. Mm -hmm. It says, how to live until you die. I love that title, first of all. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank yeah. You. And can you share more about the book, what it talks about? Uh, and then, you know, why did you even write that book? What was the inspiration behind? Okay. Yeah. Be glad to. Yeah. Well, how to live until you die. The seven keys to living happy, healthy, and whole, uh, is the, is the full title uh, of my book. And, uh, uh, I was, uh, in, inspired, uh, uh, to write this book by several people who have been telling me for years that I needed to write a book, uh, because of the things that I teach and the things that I share with people on a regular basis. Uh, I've had several people say, you really need to write a book. Uh, and it wasn't something I was really looking to do. Uh, but, uh, I decided, uh, a little over a year ago, Hey, it's time. Uh, I really uh, need to do this. I need to get my message out to more people and help more people uh, <clears throat> learn the things that I teach, that they can live a healthy lifestyle, uh, that it's not as, uh, as hard as they think it is, and that it's not just about uh, taking care of our bodies, uh, but it's about taking care of our total being. Uh, I believe we're three-part beings, body, soul, and spirit, and I talk about this in the book. And I cover all three aspects of our being uh, in the book that, uh, and for us to be uh, totally healthy, to have a, a, a vibrant, enjoyable, healthy lifestyle, I believe we need to focus on uh, all three parts uh, of our body, of our, I mean, of our being, body, soul, and spirit. And so that was, uh, you know, uh, the inspiration behind the book and, and the primary uh, message uh, of the book uh, as well is that uh, uh, we have these three beings, we, I mean, these three parts, and we need to take care of all of them. And that it's not that hard to do if we just put some simple practices in place in our lives. And, you know, a lot of people uh, that I've talked to over the years say, well, I just can't do that. It's just too hard. Uh, the, the things that they've tried, and they've tried all these different things, and it's just they have failed and failed and failed. Well, the... Uh, how to live until you die makes it all simple. I put everything in a simple language, simple way. It's not like a medical book or anything. It's extremely hard to understand. Uh, it's a book of fact. It's a book of story. And we intertwine story and intertwine, uh, you know, uh, facts about a healthy living and uh, to make it a, an enjoyable read for people. And um, uh, it's my hope uh, that uh, uh, people will, get it and it will change their lives right no i think that's really powerful way to connect and communicate with everybody and i think so i mean like i always say hey if you have a message to share write a book but it's i'm sure you can tell me and you can talk about it for for hours it's not easy to write a book no no oh no a lot yeah. of work, a lot of work involved in it. A lot of work, yeah. Not many people do understand about that. But yeah, thanks for writing that book because that's how you can share your message with the whole world. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, before I let you go, do you have any message, any lasting message for for our audience in terms of like, if they have to, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm, you know, we're going to put the book on our website, make sure everybody gets the access to, and you know, people will check it out. But uh, if you have to give a, some kind of a last message, what would be your message? Yeah. Well, um, you know, one of the things uh, uh, that I share uh, in the, in the book, uh, Jay, uh, is what I was talking about uh, a minute ago is, is the simplicity of things uh, and that it's, uh, it's not as hard as people think it is. And, you know, people uh, that I talk to have been down different roads in their life and uh, there's, there's all kinds of things that have gone on. And, uh, and, and one of the things that I say as I close out the, uh, the book, uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter what your story is, doesn't matter what your story was, you can start a new story today. Uh, you can begin today, and today is the day to begin. Uh, no matter what kind of failures you've had in the past, uh, it, it attempts to live a healthy lifestyle, or, or attempts to get healthier, attempts to lose weight, attempts to quit bad habits, uh, today is the day to start anew and afresh uh, and start today. Uh, and uh, it's just make that choice, and you can do it. Start today. That's a very powerful message. Thanks for sharing that. 
It has been my pleasure hosting you here on this Healthy Lifestyle Show podcast. And if at any point of time you want to come back and, you know, have another conversation, we would love to have you back. Oh, absolutely. We'd love to. Love to. Thank you so much, Jay, for having me on the show today and the opportunity to, to share with your listeners. It has been my honor to have you over here. Thanks, Dr. Phil. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Healthy Lifestyle Show. And you can learn more about us at healthylifestylepodcast.com. And to plan your healthy meals, don't forget to visit healthylifestylemeals.com. We'll see you next week. Listeners should know this podcast is for informational purposes only and assumes no responsibility for how this material is used. While using any information shared here, please consult with your healthcare provider.